Oh, yes. My goodness, things changed last episode. Thanks so much for coming by again today. And we have all these new buildings. Let's get a bird's eye view of what we accomplished last episode. It was a major building episode last time. And yeah, all these houses. Oh, I need a place to lay in. Okay, thank you. All these houses in this entire area over here are all new. It's, uh, is it only four? <laughs> Wow, it really felt like more than four. I gotta tell you, it felt like more than four for the amount of time it took to build. But yeah, the city is starting to be filled out. There's basically only one more spot left in this entire city, uh, as far as the city, city, city park goes, is to build. And that is right here, right in this little sort of triangle area. And we're gonna get to that. And that's all gonna be big houses. This, the one thing that I am not totally sold on, but it needs to be there because I've kind of decided what it is, is this little uh, uh, tribute yard. It's not a graveyard. It's a tribute yard that we're going to get uh, get to right now. So here's the thing uh, that I need to do in this world. I, I need to uh, thank my supporters, my patrons, my YouTube members. You folks have helped so much. You helped me buy a new computer so that I can make a lot better uh, and more consistent videos and actually some modded stuff and, and shaders and all that kind of stuff. And you have helped me, uh, well, uh, continue to live during this uh, long pandemic unemployment streak that I'm on right now. If you don't know, I'm a musician. And as a musician during a global pandemic, well, it's not ideal. It's not an ideal job, job choice. So yeah, not a lot of work out there. So I, I'm very, very, very grateful for y'all. So the first thing I want to do today is I want to say thank you. And I want to move the patron rewards that I have done to here. And I have a, a little bit of a different plan to do them. And what we're going to do is I'm going to be building churches um, as needed. So every time we need a church and in this world, churches aren't necessarily to worship deities. Churches in this world are to basically pay tribute and to um, remember important people in the world, like for that's the, the in world thing, right? Like, so people in this world, they say they want to remember a king or a great duke or a bishop or whatever, um, then they would here in this area, they would have tributes here. And that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to grab a list of my YouTube members and patrons, and we're probably not going to get to all of them today uh, because I don't think there's going to be enough room. And I don't want to just jam them all in because I want, I want each one to have sort of a space. And then when we need more, then we'll build another church and then another church and then another church. And all the churches in this area, uh, in this entire world are going to be basically uh, have tribute areas where we say thank you. Uh, the one church that I have actually built, I keep calling them churches, I don't know what else to call them, is this. And this is a, this has tributes to my pets in real life. <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little different, but yeah, over here I have, I have these things to, to my pets, like, uh, Ozzy, oh, Ozzy and, and, uh, Cappy and lots of other, lots of my lucky, oh man, Barney, where's, where's my, where, where's my, where's my sweet Sydney? this one Sydney that was that was my dog for most of my uh sort of adult life and boy, I loved her I loved her a lot anyway uh so I'm not going to touch this one this church is going to remain exactly the same and this little church is going to be the beginning of it and so whenever you grab a world download every if you're a patron YouTube member you get a world download of this world every five episodes so are we being overrun by by uh wandering traders there's everywhere I look there's wandering traders then you're gonna be able to come to one of these courtyards and try to find your own name. I think that's a kind of cool thing. So let me go grab some materials that I'm gonna need from the vault and then we'll come back and start putting down some names. All right, first one's done. Let me uh, take you through uh, and special thanks to uh, four of my patrons so far, Alicia Aris since September, 2019, Avalar since May of 2019, uh, MOC Ardor, June of 19. Thanks so much. And Denisy, June of, of 19. So, so I decided to go with tiers to make them a little bit expensive for me, right? I mean, not too expensive. I'm not going to do netherite block. Maybe someday I'll have a very, very expensive tier for only netherite block. <laughs> I don't know. But for, uh, for right now, um, yeah, yeah. Diamond is, is the, the, the renamed tier. Diamond, gold, and emerald. Emerald being the, the lower tier because emerald, I have, um, lots and lots of because uh, of villagers and, and all that kind of stuff i felt like it was okay i mean yeah i know i have a gold farm too but look i'm not doing netherite <laughs> okay <laughs> maybe i'll do bronze maybe i'll replace one with bronze or uh, copper whenever we get copper so let me head over to another another church and set up a little courtyard area and then uh, we'll do the same thing for another group you know i went flying off to the other church and i i just 
something was gnawing at me, and I don't, I don't think that I'm done. I don't think I'm done with the little design of these little pillars. I think the idea is right, but as I'm flying, I'm like, eh, it doesn't feel quite right. I think this is more right. Either this one up here, or, or uh, that one. I, I just, I feel like it's better. Yeah, I think, I think the smaller one's actually a little better. So let's, let's do, let's do that. So that's going to be the pillar. So this is going to be the tribute pillar I have. Um, to say, you know, a special thank you to uh, to my supporters, and I think, yeah, I just feel like it's it's it, I, it was a little too small. I, I wanted the idea of obelisk. That that's kind of what I thought. I thought like, oh, let's just do lots and lots of little obelisks for all the supporters I have, and, and I thought, oh man, I, it just it seems, I don't know, I don't want to say cheap, you know, because like I don't think that's the point of it, but it just it feels too too small, and this just feels better. This just feels like. Okay, so there's some there's some there's some meat there, right? Like these people, they took some time to set these up, and I definitely do want to have these have these areas these these very overgrown, like to show some age, you know, show show that they've been around for a little while. Yeah, I think it's I think it's, plus I think it's a lot more um, sort of medieval with this design and a little bit less futuristic. Now, uh, it needs to be a little bit futuristic, and you're going to get into that on the lore on the lore bit eventually. Eventually, we'll get to the lore side, and you'll see why they need to be futuristic for now. But for right now, we're just going to leave it at it needs to be a blend of medieval and futuristic. I I, I feel like I feel like we're that's a good place now. Uh, now this church over here, I'm going to do a few more patrons over here. There is absolutely no room for a, a uh, what would you call it? A, a graveyard here beside this one. So I'm going to put it instead over here, just across the river where you can look across. I think that's going to be kind of cool. So I, I pulled out some of these leaves here and what we'll do is we'll make a little, little area right here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is, is put down the coarse dirt. Again, just so we get a nice, a nice bit of, of um, uh, I don't know, like look like some of it has 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 been, eh, you know, it's it's not brand new, not like the grounds re disturbed now, but like, um, uh, I don't know, maybe maybe it's a little shaded, and maybe maybe we'll add some trees later, and maybe some of the some of the 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 plants and the flowers and things don't grow so well in this area. I think that could be kind of cool. Regardless of it, just looks better. So we'll just do some of this coarse dirt here, and maybe even some path walk and stuff as well. But I think this one is going to go right right on the uh, right on the riverbank. That could be also a cool look. And then we still have at least two more churches that I can think of in this world already, let alone uh, an upcoming giant cathedral, which we haven't built yet. But but there's going to be room for lots more. So if you're not <laughs> so if you're not a patron yet, hey, there's still room. <laughs> we'll make some room for you. All right, cool. All right, let me get to work. I'll show you this one after we get it done. All right, here's another four that I want to say a special thank you to Diamond Tier Andy Days. Good friend Andy Days, November uh, 2019, and Gabe Krupa, uh, Blue Kelp, uh, December of 2019. We have Reef, April of 2019, and I, I, I thought that was four, and uh, Bode, January 2019. So thank you, thank you, folks, so so much again. Very, very, very appreciative. And look, it, it's cool. It's adding some age to the world, right? I like it already. Okay, let's go find another church. I got another little bit of a tribute yard. I'm starting to get the terminology together here over on my my end. Uh, set up here around this side of this. Remember this little this little cathedral church thing. <laughs> I don't. Know. I guess we'll just keep calling them churches because they look like churches, even though we've sort of changed the. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. Wow, what is this? What have I discovered? I've discovered a giant fake. Oh my goodness! Really? Is this where we're at? We're at like. Uh, zombie, uh, <laughs> baby zombie. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, another baby. This is where the babies all come from. This must be their home. The baby home. The baby zombie home. Can I just, can I just possibly get out of here? <laughs> just, just, can I just get out of here? Oh my, no, apparently I can't. Look at this. Uh, where even am I? Where, where is this, where is this mess? I'm going to, I'm going to keep rolling here because I want, I want us all to discover where the heck this like mountain of, Mountain of sand is where, the, where for real, for real. Where is this? I I am I have no idea. Wow, man, we we you know sometimes I think we moved away from this beginning area too soon. I mean, look around. There are so many possibilities for stuff. Ah, uh, this is why I'm never leaving this area. Like this is why I'm never leaving this this immediate area. Like. 
there are so many just possibilities over there. So one thing I might do, one since since we're here, let's discuss. Oh. <laughs> since we're here, let's discuss. One thing I might do is I may reset the chunks of. Let's get up here. This would be a perfect place to talk. I may reset whenever the cave update comes out. The cave and cave and cliffs. The mountain update comes out. I may end up resetting that right there. Just that one part. Because what I'm curious about is, is it would, this is an extreme hills, obviously. Is this going to turn into a giant mountain or is this going to stay just like that whenever Caves and Cliffs comes out? So I, I might do it in a test world where I reset, you know, I trim just that area out and I, I see if that ends up turning into some sort of giant, awesome, epic mountain or if it stays sort of the extreme hills sort of thing that it is. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I just, I'd like to have some of the natural extreme hills around here. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, oh, there's one right there. It's true, but I have plans. I'm going to terraform that whole area. That whole area is going to be manually terraformed at some point. Uh, let's just fly over here. Um, yeah, see, this this whole thing is going to become, it's going to become something. We're talking, I'm talking a long way off in the future, but that is going to become something. So I don't want to get into, into too much I, like, I don't want to plan on waiting for that because this is just right for a really cool sort of build kingdom area itself. I, I have a whole whole idea worked out for that. Uh, but regardless, that's not, you know, that's neither here nor there, as they say. What I do want to show you is my Patreon <laughs> area here by this little church. Um, so I have I have room for three more. I may end up putting some more here, but I, I need to sort of look at it. Uh, Big D, a uh, diamond tier patron since February of 19. Victor Kaleka uh, since August 2019 gold tier. And uh, Kelwin uh, from February uh, 2020 uh, with the Emerald Tier. Thank you so much, uh, fellas, and and I think all fellas actually uh, for your uh, your 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 support and your help. It really means means just so much to me. I really really appreciate it. I want to grab my YouTube members and throw them in here as well. I feel like this is like the biggest church we have probably, so maybe it should have the biggest tribute yard. And I think it's kind of a nice thing. So, uh, Brian the girl, uh, my first and longest term uh, YouTube member for a whopping. 20 months from September of 19. Uh, thank you, Brianne. Uh, let's see. James Wilkinson from August 2020. Another diamond tier. Um, thank you so much, James. Iron City 82, August 2020 uh, with the gold tier. So thank you so much. And last but certainly not least, Boston plays YT, July 2020. Thank you so much, uh, everybody. Thank you so much. Really, really, really appreciate it. I think this is going to be a, a, a pretty fun thing that we can do to get everyone in this bedrock world with some lore. You all, you may not know it yet. But you are all going to be characters in this world, like not just names on a plate, but you're actually going to be you're going to be people in this world. And I think it's going to be a really fun way that we can all sort of do this together as the Lore of Tovlin series uh, rolls out. So I, I tell you what I almost did. What I almost did was was build a new church because I, I thought maybe it'd be cool to have a church for just YouTube members. But uh I, I didn't feel like I, I was the right time to dive into another project, given that I have so many. But one more thing I want to do today is I want to measure out this place because I need to do some things where I need to know exactly how far uh, this is away from my iron farm and where this custom biome eventually needs to go to because the reason why i've explained this so many times the reason why i have to do a custom biome here is because i can't there's villagers in my iron farmer here and you can't have any beds or workstations near so i don't want to have any houses or living type of situations i want to make this all nature so i need to go at least 100 blocks from here to uh to out there and i want to start working on some sort of a wall system that is going to fence in this this custom biome it looks like i have more than 100 blocks but let's find out in just a second here all right right about here is 100 blocks away from the edge of the iron farm actually it, it's it's a fairly big buffer but as you can see where i have this sort of custom biome going there's plenty of room so i think one thing i was thinking about doing I've been, I've been trying to figure out how exactly I want to do this custom biome is I think I want to fence it in. And the reason being, I want to make this an area of like rot, right? I want to make this area look like things aren't going so well for this land. Like there's some sort of 
I, I don't know if we're going to get magical or curse or pollution or something in this area that is causing some some real problems to the land. That's why I've been growing all these trees and trying to spread out. Every time I grow it, see, you can see it like right here. Every time I grow a spruce tree, I'm trying to put it on grass so I can do uh, the easy way of turning all this grass into mycelium. None of this was mycelium when I started this world. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe doing a bit of a, a wall, like maybe, I don't know, like maybe a... Uh, Actually, I do have kind of an idea here. So if I we want to do like, say, a cobblestone sort of wall, maybe like cobblestone with a flat area. I did one once a long time ago that I thought was really cool. And uh, it, it worked out really well. And it, it, let me, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I think we're going to do this. We're going to lay this out today, even though I'm, I'm starting a big grind here. Maybe we won't get it done. Maybe we'll just lay it out. We're going to lay this out today where I'm going to start figure out uh, where this wall is going to be and then maybe we'll do the actual building of the wall later but yeah that means i need a lot of cobblestone and to put away all my other materials so let's go do some uh, some housekeeping oh man are you serious are you serious with this build oh look how look at the city oh it's gorgeous gorgeous I, i'll tell you I, i'm gonna i'm gonna go put my stuff away and go get some cobblestone but before i do i i've been feeling the urge i've been feeling the urge to do some epic terraforming again like i kind of took a break after that you know uh after that mountain i'm i'm feeling i'm feeling the burn i'm feeling the burn of wanting to really get into some some epic terraforming so i think that's gonna happen soon maybe right after the world tour maybe right after episode 175 and we'll get into some major terraforming because i have a plan oh oh man do i have a plan it's gonna be so good and so cool and so epically awesome but uh yeah <laughs> i got a lot of stuff to do okay you know, speaking of future plans and some things I really want to get going, I think maybe it is time to just start. And I don't mean get any more done than just some very preliminary action here, but maybe time to just start working on how this actual cave is going to be, because it's going to be absolutely epically awesome. But before we even get there, I need to start figuring, because I need to dig, essentially. I need to dig, and before I dig, what I want to do is I want to lay out where we're going to start digging. So I think this is going to be ground level. You know, I had thought about going way down even deeper, but in more recent times, I've had more of a plan of a different dig that I want to do in addition. So that means to do that, I need to kind of finish this one up. So um, I, what I'm going to do is it's going to be in in a way a little bit similar to what I'm doing on Realm of Assassin. I know I try to keep those these series is different, but um, it's going to be totally different. Like once we get you know, kind of into it, but at least the initial dig part is going to be kind of similar. So what I'm going to do for, for now is I'm going to be still digging down deeper, deeper and deeper and deeper, all that kind of stuff. But in addition to going down, I'm going to start leaving some of this up here because this is going to be the actual part where the castle, the dark, the dark cave castle is going to be. So to do that, I'm going to need to sort of work out a, a very rough island sort of feel because it's going to be surrounded i think maybe and i'm not sure by either lava or that uh sort of glowing glass effect you know you've all seen minecrafters do it a million times right um and i don't know i don't know exactly exactly which but that's going to be the basic plan now this place is going to get pretty dark because i'm as you can see i have my torches laid out in quite a grid to keep everything lit and and yeah i'm just taking them down but that's okay we can we can deal with mobs as they come, but yeah. And uh, there's gonna be holes to fill in. It's gonna be messy. This is gonna be messy. We're gonna mess up my my very straight flat area, but this was never meant to just be flat. This is always meant to be eventually sort of a castle. And this is gonna be the castle. It's gonna be the dark castle. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down on this side over here, dig down, and on this side, leave it up. So well, I'm just here to get cobblestone essentially to build a wall over in the enchanted dark forest, but since I need it anyway, let's combine our uh, our time and, and do both, I think. So let me get some cobblestone and I'll meet you over at the forest. Oh, folks, there are so many things that I want to talk to you all about. <laughs> There's just so many things. Like, let's check some video settings. I have been, between the last clip and this clip, it has been, oof, like, see... There shows nothing active here. Global Resources has this active, which this is a new texture pack. This will be available on my Discord if you want to grab it. 116.200i. 
Now this resource pack has a few things added to it. For one thing, it has skies. I probably technically should not be uh, redistributing this, but since I'm not hosting on like a, a curse forge or anything like that, and it's just me and a couple of my friends who are going to check it out uh, for testing purposes, this is the Parallax uh, Skybox. Um, so uh, it's an amazing texture pack, uh, and I just I was tired of having two different ones since resource uh, resource packs have changed fundamentally. Oh man, there's so much to talk about. We may be here for an hour. Resource packs have changed since Render Dragon came out. There is shaders are no longer a thing. They don't work anymore. Uh, from the creator of of Parallax uh, Shader Pack, which is his name is uh, Hybrid. His his or her name is Hybrid. Um, said no, it just doesn't just doesn't work anymore. It's out. It's done. Um, so since there are no more shaders. Uh, I have decided to sort of go all in on my texture pack myself. And what that means is, oh man, I can't believe I'm going to go down this road. But what that means is uh, my texture pack now, through an amazing amount of research, has ray tracing capabilities. Now, so if you have a Windows uh, 10 machine and you're playing and you want to check out this world and this texture pack, then you can get all of these. See, look, it is my texture pack. You got the darker end set, which actually I'm going to lighten that up a little bit here eventually. You got the white, all the white end stone and all that kind of stuff. So it's definitely the texture pack that we've been working on for a long time. But check this out. If we just go over here, it's so fast. It's really cool. And it's cool that you can just toggle it on and off. It's really, really, really nice. So you just go down here and you go. Now, right now, I'm playing on 80 chunks without ray tracing. But yeah, you pop on ray tracing. And I, I think I can play 24 chunks with this. And we have ray tracing with my texture pack. Now, look, I, it's, not, it's not perfect because it is... Um, it, it, it's a regular vanilla texture pack that I just made ray tracing capable, right? It's not a pure ray tracing texture pack, but I, what we'll do is as time goes on, I'll start adding more and more and more blocks to have the ray tracing uh, capability. Now it's really, really cool at night here. Uh, you can even see like the glass. You can see there's, you see a little bit, see a little bit of, of that going on in there. Let me find a, um, like you can see that there's the shadows we have night is night is very cool um again this is going to be a long-term project we're going to be working on this but i was not happy with most of the ray tracing things that i found in, out there in the wild i just didn't really like them there's a couple problems let me show you at nighttime i'm gonna jump over to a uh, to a backup of this world okay so i'm in i'm in a, a in a backup so i can go i can go creative uh with with no no uh, uh bad feelings but so we have these these lamps which are really cool i mean the texture looks really really cool and we have these torches which work really great here's a couple of the problems let me show you a couple of the things that don't really work yet and i'm going to try to get them working it's just gonna it's just gonna take a little bit of time because there's some things i need to figure out what to do notice glowstone gives us <laughs> no light for some reason now it does without without texture pack uh it, or without ray tracing rather uh really fine but it for some reason it doesn't campfire same thing also fire in general also sea lanterns so right now the only things that are giving off real true ray tracing light are these lanterns and torches um but you can see i mean it's really immersive and and it's 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 really i mean it looks great it looks really really cool there's you know you can see the light bouncing off thing look at that look at the moon i you know we're close we're close there's just some just some some kinks i have to work out here you know but but i think the possibilities are really positive to having a full ray tracing capable texture pack that also works if you turn it off now if, if i do turn it off let me turn this off uh let's see we'll go right is it right mm -mm. No, no, actually, sorry. You have video and you come down. I forgot how to do it. You turn on, and you turn off ray tracing. Now, if I turn that off, this looks normal. This is what you've seen before. And the fire does give out light, right? And glowstone does give out light. So it's definitely like as far as mob spawning goes, mobs aren't going to spawn. So that's going to work. It's just that the, the glowstone, the redstone lantern, the campfire, the glowstone, for some reason, they are aren't working and i don't i don't really know why that is by the way the, the custom skies also uh they they're at night uh, i'm gonna work that out as well i'm not totally sure render dragons changed so much but i like it i like it a lot there's a lot of possibilities i think in general i'm not gonna play with it on yet um until till i get a little bit more worked out uh as far as the ray chasing goes i, I think this is kind of more what we're what we're used to i i may I, I want to figure out how to turn off the clouds at nighttime. I, they're, they're cool, but they're not exactly what I want. So we'll, have, we'll work that out as well. 
But that all being said, we're back here in the main world, the survival world, and let me show you what I started working on here because I had some some more time. Now I'm gonna have to add some more. I just got actually I just got a whole a whole bunch of uh, new new patrons. Actually, some 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 real new patrons. So, so welcome. Well, uh, while I was recording this episode, a couple new uh, friends came in, and then also some of my uh, Vastin friends uh, have also. Uh, done because we switched back to the server and we'll talk about that later on so uh regardless i have some more statues to make but we're going to make that at a later time but what i started to do is i started working over here i started working on this sort of wall area that i think is going to be really cool um i i have i have some more work to do on it like i'm going to want to do uh mix up some some mix up some things here so it's not uh quite you know like like it is right now but you can sort of see the idea the idea is going to be kind of like this we're gonna have a big wall with a, a little cliff and then up on top of the cliff uh, we're gonna have a, an actual like wall and that's going to keep in this custom biome so you can see that i have started the process of taking uh, all the dirt and stuff i want this to be mostly grass i want grass to be up on top of this then what we'll do is we'll come down on the other side so this is probably gonna be a, a project that we're probably going to readdress kind of later but I think for right now, I think we can we can kind of see where this is going to go. So this whole thing, minus that chunk that didn't load, is going to be a custom biome. That I think is going to be really, really, really cool. Load, chunk, load. And uh, and that's why I'm doing all the pods also. We'll work more on that later. But I think, regardless, that is going to do it for me. I have spent more time on this episode than I have on anything in a very long time. So we'll see. my phone's going off. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Love you all.